Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Gabrielle, the Moon Minister, and today's video is going to be six steps on how to manifest your dream life. Now, today's topic comes from a guide that I've actually written. It's one of my um, second uh, books that I've ever published. It is a six-step guide, and it also has notes. Let me pull it out. Here it is. by me and in the back of it we have notes manifestation notes that you can write out There's some stuff that I've written in there but um, you basically runs through six steps on how to manifest your dream life and the reason why I wanted to create this book and just past the knowledge of manifesting is because I feel like manifesting is just such a powerful tool that we all each can do and it's kind of a little bit of a shame that some people don't know that they have the power literally have the power to create their best lives so I wanted to share my piece of tool that helps with that um I've basically been manifesting since I was a child I remember being a little girl and um, just thinking about what I wanted for my future and really only grasping wanting to be like a mom, wanting to be a stay-at-home mother who uh, takes care of her children and she's carefree and living in a, a simple, beautiful, you know, drama-free life. That's what I've always imagined and as well as like just being married just because I'm a I'm a lover type of person. So like as I've sat back in my spiritual journey, I've realized wow, I really have manifested these things into my life from childhood just wanting to be, you know, set up the way I want to be set up in life and then achieving that at such a young age. I was just like, wow, if I can manifest that as a child, I imagine what I can manifest as an adult and manifestation is just a great tool to have so without further ado let's get into these steps step one gratitude your attitude now what i mean by that is that you got to switch up your attitude or your per not personality but the way that you are thinking in certain moods you got to have more gratitude, be more grateful for the things that you do have. And the reason for this is if you are not grateful and appreciative of what you do have right now, the universe is going to think, well, you probably don't need any more or, or can't handle or want any more. So the first step comes with your mind. You can literally change anything in your mind and you have to apply and really think to yourself, even when you're in those t moods where you're down and think to yourself, okay, I know maybe such and such isn't going right for me, but I know at the end of the day, you know, I still woke up. I still have another chance, you know, just really soaking in the gratefulness or the better things in life, seeing the positive and negative situations. That's not to say to never think down or never feel down, but just don't allow yourself to dwell in that. Feel your feelings and then come up out of that and realize, you know what, there are so many things to be grateful for. So that's step one. Step two, realize to visualize. Now, what I mean by this is that in order to visualize everything that you want in your life, you have to realize who you are, where you are in this lifetime, and what's going to best help you achieve the things that you want. Now, this looks different for everybody. Um, depending on your life, you may have a passion for certain things like writing, for instance. So maybe you want to put yourself um, or start thinking about putting yourself in positions with other writers or thinking about, okay, what does the day in the life of a writer do? How, how can I envision myself, you know, being able to do these type of things and live the life that I want to do? That's one of the main things. Because once you have clarity on being grateful, you can have clarity on visualizing, you know what, what are the things that I want in this, that I can add on in this grateful life that I know I am destined to have? Step three, 
take action. Now, I know a lot of people like to think that manifestation is all in the head, but it's extremely important to take action. So when you take action, you open them doors so that your manifestations can come to you immediately. And sometimes pe some people are placed in different areas just because of their thinking and putting themselves their mind in those certain areas so that they can succeed or get to the point to where they want to be. So taking action or getting yourself up and waking up and going on that walk to meet or network with somebody that may help you forward into where you want to be may have been the thing to do. Take action in any type of way. This part really does look different for everybody, depending on like just what you're passionate about or what you visualize or see yourself doing. Because taking action, you can do it in multiple ways. And I have tips on doing so in different ways, how you could take action up in the book as well. Step four, consistency is key. Now, this is one of the harder steps just because human nature, when we're doing something and we don't see that fast instant gratification or that, that it happened immediately sometimes we want to give up because we say oh if, if it didn't happen yesterday or the day before why does it matter that i do it today no it matters consistency is key L letting something become a habit in your life and something um that helps you succeed or helps you get to the place that you need to be letting some things like that become habits becomes your day-to-day -day routine and you need those type of things so that you can forward because those little bit of actions that you do day by day, week by week, are going to help you eventually transform to where you want to be in the next months or year. All right. Step five, trust the dust. Now, this one basically means that you got to trust in the magic or the things that you cannot see. This one is the one that helps you on those days where being consistent is difficult. Being able to trust the dust allows you to think like, you know what, I know that, you know, things may be going difficult at this moment, but I know that if I just keep going I and believe in myself, I can get to where I need to be. And that's really what trust in the dust is all about. And that comes in different ways. And there's different ways that you can do so or or as far as just having a faith you believe in or just having a structured system that you have. Or there's just different ways. And I have those all listed down below there. So I'm going to go on to step six. Step six. <laughs> Receive what you believed. Now... Not for everybody, but some people, when they receive what they wanted so badly, they may feel empty or may feel like, you know what, this isn't what I wanted or so. So receive what you believe, whether you're that type of person or not. It's just about understanding, you know what, sometimes, you know, some people are the type of people who need to transform or continuously have goals or things in their life, and that's okay. Some people, they get where they need to be, and boom, they're good for that, and, and that's okay. Understanding where you are at and just being happy and continuing everything that you've been doing as far as staying consistent, taking action, thinking, and really staying in that that positive light so that you can continue to prosper and continue to be happy and feel accomplished in the things that you have achieved. It is very important to stay humble because what you manifested could fly away in the next moment. So just be happy in that, be consistent in that, be knowledgeable of what you have and remember to stay humble in that so that you can not only continue to have what you uh, wanted to, but attract more into your life. So that was my six steps to manifesting your dream life. I hope these six steps have kind of like opened your mind to what manifesting could look like or um, really helps you understand or get a grasp on what it is. Uh, if you need more information, you can DM me. Um, I have my... Um, 
Instagram places below. You can also I'll also have the link to this book because you can purchase this on Amazon by either looking it up or I'll have the link down below. Um, but yeah, I really put a lot of heart and soul into this book, put a lot of thinking into this book, and just put a lot of tools and um, ideas that I uh, know that I use and things that I've heard of just for to help people and to understand what manifesting is and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed the book. You guys have a nice rest of your day. Bye!